what is Nipah virus? But what's really worrying and panicking is rapid involvement of the nervous system and people showing symptoms of headache, convulsions and also slipping into coma. What are the precautions that one needs to take when it comes to Nipah virus? So we have not left places for bats also. So Welcome to Maya's IC21, where we're working towards a healthier, happier, prettier and a better 21st century. There has been a lot of panic in the country about Nipah virus. There's also been a lot of false information that has been spreading around. So today we will find out if there's a reason to panic from the expert himself. We have a doctor with us who has more than 15 years of experience. He is a consultant physician at Manipal Hospital. So let us welcome Dr. Manohar to our show. Welcome to the show, doctor. Nipah virus is the latest viral infection which is spreading panic across the country. It has been recently detected in Kerala. Actually, it is a RNA virus and it is called as a zoonosis. Zoonosis means these are the viruses which impact the animals basically but by, for some reason, they stray down and infect the humans also. What are the causes, doctor, for this? So we all say that uh, it has come from bats, but what actually has happened is the human greed is so much that we have encroached the animal territory. So we have not left places for bats also. This fruit bats is coming in contact with some animals, maybe pigs, horses, cattle, mm -hmm. and they share the infection. And from there on, we are in direct contact with our cattle and pigs and right. so we get the infection. So this is what has happened. Doctor, what are the early symptoms of this Nipah virus? It is very difficult initially to differentiate Nipah virus symptoms from any other viral infection symptoms. So after the exposure to an individual suspected to have Nipah virus or any animal which could have had Nipah virus, it takes about 10 to 15 days for the person to manifest his symptoms. Most of these symptoms are like a basic symptoms of fever, headache, body ache. Sometimes they develop respiratory symptoms of cold, cough, breathlessness. But what's really worrying and panicking is rapid involvement of the nervous system and people showing symptoms of headache, convulsions and also slipping into coma. And there is a high mortality rate. The death rate is almost up to 70% is what being told, especially when they have the involvement of the nervous system. So that is the scare and panicky situation which it is creating. Doctor, what is the treatment that is available right now? Treatment is predominantly supportive treatment. In the sense, when you see a patient, then take a history, whether there is an exposure or visiting the place where it is being found. Most significantly, doctor, tell us what are the precautions that one needs to take when it comes to Nipah virus? Definitely. Firstly, like if there is, like there is an alert in few parts of Kerala, it is there. So better to avoid travel to that area, okay? So if someone and fruit bat eats fruits and that fruits may be fallen down and this season someone should not pick up the fruit which is fallen and eat it. Thirdly, if there are animals in that area like the pigs or the cattle or the horses which are showing any signs, okay. Oh, okay. so avoid the contact with those animals. animals. And when you are suspecting a person to have it, have the disease, try to do a barrier nursing and isolation treatment, preferably in hospitals who know how to do handle with that. So these are the four things and as you also brought about uh, some time back, there is no vaccination yet right. for the disease. So that prevention part is not there. But good personal hygiene right. will help us preventing not only Nipah but so many other viruses and bacterial infections also. Can you tell us more about the personal hygiene that should be administered during these times, doctor? Simple hand washing, sneezing, use handkerchiefs, some hand rubs will be of use and if the patient is admitted then barrier nursing and leave it to the expert medicals who are uh, known in infectious disease management to manage them and that's how we should do it. So stay away and if you are symptomatic, suspicious, don't panic, visit your doctor. And uh, doctor, would a mask also help? Definitely it will help okay. because sometimes the secretions can be avoided. Uh, Putting a mask to the patient is more important than putting masks to ourselves and visit. As we all know, I think the, very sadly one of the nursing staffs who was in close contact with it's a really, really heart-wrenching story. 
So that is the risk which we face in the medical field. But uh, hats off to that lady that we, people like her and yes, many others come forward like to serve in spite of that risk. Yeah, I think salute to all the people in the medical field. Definitely, definitely. Doctor.